happened here. We actually could have already come here and seen this if we'd, um, you know, walked through the main entrance. Doris Fletcher. Sappho. Yep. Wonder why she had that poster in her room. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Can we share this meal? <laughs> oh, I love it. Would you care to partake in this meal with me? Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Yay! Have you killed this woman? Oh yeah, I'm gonna ask that. Have you embraced this woman? Like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield. Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Oh, rich blood is appealing. <laughs> is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Well, fair enough, but I did read that one note that said that you actually don't drink to survive. That it's literally just an addiction, but yeah, whatever. To the ducks! All right, we are arriving. Uh, yeah. People are playing a strange game. You again? What are you I want to look for Sean Hampton. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cunt. Okay, some cunt. <laughs> We need to talk to everybody. Hello again, Doc. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. The sad saint? Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and... Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Why should they be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times. That's all. How many? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. Yeah, this guy killed a bunch of people and we found stuff on them. Anyway. Any chance you can help me find Sean Hampton? The sad saint. Why would you talk to that cunt? Actually, that's confidential. Really? Well, go ask someone else then. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, night time, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth? Claws? Murders by night? Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. <laughs> milady. He's trying to get into her pants. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicion? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I, I bet. <laughs> I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? 
The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. It's not exactly, you know, out of the ordinary to be molested by a priest, let's face it. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. Okay. Let's see, I want to ask you about the neighborhood. Can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh boy. It's impossible to protect everyone. But it's my duty. I am convinced. He probably was. So. I patrol late at night, investigating. Do you need help? Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? That said, you were wrong on a couple of those things. Garlic won't stop me, and I can enter a house. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Hey, Tom. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I believe he returned to his flock. Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Ah, now we have two hints about him, which is all we need to know about him. Thank you very much. Let's, uh... Have a quick chat to Sabrina. You still working at this hour? Yeah. Miss Cavendish, would you... You better ask Tom's. Why not answer? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Well, whatever. Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? Not really. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. Fair enough. Goodbye. She's she's quite pretty. Anyway, uh Don't let my wife know that I said that another woman was pretty. Because she'll just be watching my videos and find out anyway. Hello, dude. Good evening, sir. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. And I am Archer Woodbead. Pl we already met this guy? Tell me everything you know about the Guard of Prewin. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. And what is your personal opinion about This Guard of Prewin is just another gang preying on the young and naive. No shit. Anyway, I'm skipping through uh, most of the unnecessary dialogue to get to the important stuff, primarily. I'm gonna let these guys fight this for a bit. Then I only have to fight it and not them. Alright! Now that you're done do doing them up the butt... You didn't do very well against me, did you? Anyway. Alright, so here we are. At the place we were sent to. Another disgusting ghoul did it, don't you think? A freaking vampire, Seems like the guard of Prewares on Sean Hampton's trail, too. This sucks. 
I need more bloody blood. Will you stop doing that? Yep, give this. Give me blood. You can stop doing that for for one. You can fucking stop that. Blood, glorious blood. Let's have a bit more. Need more blood. You are a veritable blood bag, so you give me some more. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, the guy was standing perfectly still and you weren't actually properly tracking him. <sighs> oh. Need more of this. Give you. One more will do it. Don't have enough blood though. Now I do. Now it's just you guys. You can fuck off. There you go, fuck you. Okay. In the end, that was pretty easy. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. A beast! Right, so... We proceed, then. See if there's anything good to loot first. Always good to get common parts. Prefer to get good parts, but yeah, now. Realized that we'd never actually been here before. Ah, uh, reckon a Narba sending me silly fucking dauntless videos. No, nope, I'm not yours. I'm already spoken for, and I'm a stabby. Oh, yeah, you, you'd better back up. Right. <laughs> that ability is so useful because I'm like, oh, you're far away. I have to go all the way over there. Never mind. Hmm. This was mine. It must really suck to be you guys. Thank you. Now you fight me. Oh, you're so 
so easy. He's so predictable. You know, th these things must be a bitch to fight without using lock-on, eh, Murta? We're in the right region to pick up those, uh... Posters. Yeah, there they are. Got him. There's also a relative of somebody in this region that I need to hand an item to. Which I'll be doing soon. You know, I really did not realize what I was doing until I pressed that button. I burned the guy's fucking posters. <laughs> I was such a freaking dumbass. I actually meant to, to put them up and and help him and be all like, What's up, dude? I helped. And then I actually went and burned them all. I'm gonna have to go give him a really good excuse, aren't I? A lot of guard of Prue in here. Trying to... Figure out what, what the bloody hell I've done. Anything good up here? Okay. Oh dear. That, that almost went bad, I think. Right. Items, items, items. Give you all the items. It's locked. I'll find a way to unlock it eventually. Oh yeah, there are people here. Hello. I'm Dr. Reed. Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Ha. <laughs> Your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Hmm. What about you? That was a joke, by the way. Goodbye. Are you certain you're not lost, sir? You seem quite the stranger to these parts. That's because I've never been here before. But it doesn't mean I'm lost. In it, 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 in it. Where for art thou, Enid? Loot, loot. Dead person. Loot. Not lost, I am not lost! Somebody else who's lost, because I can't find them. Knock, knock. I know I've got something that'll strike you Good evening, miss. Not, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I come in? I already took my medication, doctor. Uh, but thank you. I'm sorry. Your medication? Have we met before? Don't tease me like that, Jack. Sorry, what? Ah, she's a bit loopy. I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? So I used a mesmerize on her, I think. Anyway, so... Lady. So... Dr. Tippett, <laughs> what brings you back here? I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. I'm very happy to see you again. Good. I'm gonna have a look around her place before I give her that watch. Because if I'm gonna give her something and it's gonna set her off and make her fruit loopy. Then I would like to know about it beforehand. Is anyone taking care of you, Miss? My son is always here to take care of me. Right, okay, so she's not entirely on her own. Enid, have you really no idea what happened to your son? I've not seen Jack for so long. I lose track of time. Has something bad happened to him? Ah. Uh, yeah, actually. I actually don't want to just leave her sitting here not knowing. Jack is dead, Miss Gillingham. Of course he's not. I've seen him. Tonight, in fact. Ever the Joker, Dr. Tippett. <laughs> so she really does have dementia then, eh? Uh, I'm glad. Here you go. Try my best. 
Thank you, Doc. So here you go. I found this watch. It was a gift from you to your boy, wasn't it? I think it should return to you now. Oh, I remember. Yes, I recall the day I offered Jack this watch. Oh, it was such a beautiful day. Thank you, sir. Trinkets and possessions help us remember our past. Promise me you'll not lose it. I would never lose anything that belonged to Jack. Why don't you take this? Dr. Tippett's? Please, for your charity. She gave, she gave me 50 shillings. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Miss Gillian. I really feel bad for her. Are you certain you're not lost, sir? Shut up! <laughs> Fucking... Asshole.